Hi guys. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I hydrate and moisturize my hair. Um, so over here to the right, I have the Viva Curl Coconut Cream Co-Wash. And then on the left side is the Viva Curl Coconut Cream Nourishing Conditioner. When I go to cleanse my hair, I will use my co-wash along with my apple cider vinegar rinse. If you want to know how I make my apple cider vinegar rinse, let me know down in the, the comment box. And um, I will do a video on that, even if I have one person asking. So once I have done the apple cider vinegar rinse and also my co-wash, and I've rinsed that out, I will proceed with the washout conditioner, and that's that one over there, the coconut cream nourishing conditioner. And then after I've rinsed out the rinse out conditioner, I like to proceed to doing a um, bentonite clay mask treatment, which is what's inside that Proclaim Crest Cholesterol bottle. Um, and if you would like to see a video on how I prepare my bentonite clay mask, please also leave me a comment in the description box. And if I have one person, I will do a video on that as well. And then after I have placed the bentonite clay mask on my hair, and I like to keep that on my hair for at least an hour, I will rinse that out with warm water and then proceed to my intense conditioning and hydration mask. All of my hair mask and deep treatments, I always doctor up. So if you would like to learn more about what I put inside of those masks and treatments, Leave me a comment down below. Um, so I keep my um, conditioning mask or treatment on for an hour or two. Or if, if I'm busy, I might leave it on overnight and then rinse it out in the morning. But once I've rinsed out my treatment mask or hydration mask, I will. Um, I always rinse out with very cool water, as cool as I can take. I will then proceed to a very good leave-in conditioner. And this one is by As I Am. So stay tuned to the video. I will be giving some um, video and also pictures of how I use these products um, as I rehydrate and moisturize my hair. Please remember that hydration and moisturization are two different things. And typically we think as naturals, if we use a conditioner, we are hydrating and moisturizing our hair when in actuality we are just providing some type of moisture. But when you hydrate and moisturize the hair, the hair is able to lock it in a lot, a lot better um, because you're giving in every step you're doing, you're building the levels of hydration and moisture, moisturization inside of your strands. Um, I do like to leave a use a butter. I did not include that in this five item lineup because I just wanted to show you what I use to hydrate and moisturize. And um, to be honest, for my hair, butters and oils really don't provide hydration and moisturization. They help to seal in all of the hydration and moisturization that I've done. So that's why in this deep conditioning video, I felt that it was important that I use these items to highlight how I do my deep conditioning. Um, alrighty guys, if you have any questions, please leave it down below. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I will talk to you guys real soon. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button down below as you exit this video and don't forget to turn on your bell notifications. And to all my returning subscribers, hello, what's up? I hope you're doing well. And to my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Take care guys, God bless. All right, guys, so I've washed out um, the co-wash and also the apple cider vinegar rinse. So you see how it's it's not bad, but this is not hydrated. All right. So it's the point where there's nice hydration in it, um, you won't have to do it as much. But this is how the hair looks. Just doing the protein treatment. Then tonight clay mixed on my hair. So you see how it just 
it just clumps my curls. It just does what it do. So I look at that definition.